Hello all. Welcome to the learning series on SOC, SIEM and SOAR. In this video, we shall understand various deployment models of Security Operations Center in detail and how it functions. Let's get started. In our last video, we understood SOC and its functions. SOC is an Information Security Operations Center is a facility where security staff monitor enterprise systems, defend against security breaches, and proactively identify and mitigate security risks. SOC is a centralized function within an organization, employing people, processes, and technology, to continuously monitor and improve an organization's security posture, while preventing, detecting, analyzing, and responding to cybersecurity incidents. In this video, we will understand various deployment models to set up a SOC at your organization. First on our list we have a dedicated SOC. This is a classic SOC with dedicated facility, dedicated full-time staff, operated fully in-house, and operated 24 by 7 across 365 days a year. Next is a distributed SOC. This SOC contains some full-time staff and some part-time, typically operates generally on a 8x5 model in each region. Next we have a multifunctional SOC. This is a dedicated facility with a dedicated team, which performs both the functions of a network operations center and a SOC. That is monitors all network devices and technologies, and also monitors all alerts and logs generated by them. Next is a Fusion SOC. Fusion SOC is a traditional SOC combined with new functions such as threat intelligence, operational technology. This is close to a next generation SOC which we will learn in upcoming videos. Next is a Command SOC, also called a Global SOC. Global SOC coordinates with other SOCs in a global enterprise, provides threat intelligence, situational awareness and guidance. Next is a virtual SOC. Under this, there is no dedicated facility, part-time team members, usually reactive and activated by a high-profile alert or security incident. The term virtual SOC is also sometimes used for an MSSP that is a managed security service provider or a managed SOC. Last on our list we have the managed SOC, managed by a managed security service provider or a managed detection and response tool. Many organizations are turning to managed security service providers to provide SOC services on an outsourced basis. Modern offerings are called managed detection and response. Managed SOCs can be outsourced completely or co-managed with in-house security staff. This is very useful considering the nature of operations, and majority of companies follow this model. I hope the content was useful. Please don't forget to like the video if you liked it. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay on top of all the upcoming videos. Thank you.